there are few people on the planet who are paying as heavy a price as he is for telling us things that we have a right to know, things that are done in our name. And as we all know, Julian has been detained for over three years in addition to his time in the Ecuadorian Embassy. Much of his time has been in solitary confinement. He's been convicted of absolutely nothing and he is being persecuted because another country, the United States, wants to charge him on political charges. How can Australia credibly point to other nations and the war crimes that they commit when we allow treatment of a man like this who has simply exposed the crimes of our ally, the United States, in Iraq and elsewhere. Dr. Frusange has over 300 members around the world who are increasingly concerned about the state of Julian's health, both physical and mental, especially since his reported mini-stroke in October last year. With a history of prolonged exposure to psychological torture and now a planned extradition to a country which is totally ramping up the prospects of suicide, then what's desperately needed now is proper attention, independent attention to health care, proper health care to protect his future and his health. Dr. Frassange wrote to the United Kingdom Home Secretary in June. It was the latest in a series of letters to all the three governments involved, stating clearly that his deteriorating health must be considered in her decision, Priti Patel's decision regarding extradition, and the letter stated in part, under conditions in which the UK legal system has failed to take Mr Assange's current health situation into account, no valid decision to approve his extradition can be made by you or anyone else. Well, that was all to no avail. The approval was granted despite his deteriorating health condition. We call yet again on the Australian Government to intervene without further delay. What more does it take for an Australian government to act decisively to protect this Australian citizen who is a political prisoner who is in desperate need of protection? The message that the United States and the United Kingdom need to hear from Australia loudly and publicly, the messages are simple. Assange's life is at risk. Extradition for political charges is not acceptable. He must be released, he must not be extradited, and he must be brought home. Thank you.